everyone. My wrist, I hurt my wrist at work and it's, I've got very measly wrists anyway but it's so sore and it hurts. I'm going to take some painkillers. Anyway, how are you all? I hope you're well. I have a box to open. Um, I've been doing a lot of box openings live on YouTube which I loved because I got to chat to you guys um, but people had said the quality wasn't there which it's not, it's a live stream you either have the communication and less quality um, or the quality of a proper video and obviously just communication and comments but this one I decided to do um, as a normal video So on the top of the box, so I tried to lift the box but you can't see it, but it says um, on one side, why are you whispering? And then it says, are you from Scotland? Um, so this is somebody who knows my videos well and knows that I get asked those two questions quite a lot. Are you Irish? I get asked that a lot. Just for the record, I'm not, I'm English. Flavoured whiskey imported by the Cram Royal Company, product of Canada. They're from Canada. No, no America, USA. I was gonna say, I'm thinking, is that an, a Canada dress? But no, it's a, an NC. North Carolina, maybe. Let's get this box moved over. I've taken the paper off because there was a lot of paper, but I've left the tape on. This box is anything like Heidi's box. We're gonna have to do it in two parts. So today I'm recording with audacity. I am. Um, I've been having some problems with my microphone. I get clicking sound when I talk. It's not the microphone though. It's the recording device. Um, why are you whispering? Is ASMR porn? So yeah, I've decided to use Audacity um, to record, so hopefully, hopefully it works and hopefully the sound's okay because I've got my headphones there to listen and I can't. <sighs> my wrist is done. Yeah. I remember when I was younger and I got cards and I was like to see if there's money in it. That's all you wanted from a card, wasn't it, when you were younger? Please. Let's have a look. Oh my god. This is welcome. 
to Awesomeville. Let's see if I'm allowed to read after I'm here. Dear Charlotte, hello from Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte is located in central North Carolina, about two hours from a city named Durham. <laughs> oh, Durham's where I grew up. Uh, in England, obviously. Charlotte is America's 17th most popular city, which uh, is in stark contrast to Awesomeville, which has a tiny population of you, the city of Charlotte. <laughs> Was named from Queen Charlotte, one of Britain's most famous ASMR artists. <laughs> Enough of that history lesson. I sent you this card and package as a small token of my appreciation. Thank you for all your hard work in creating videos that have brought me hours of relaxation and entertainment. It's easy to tell that your charming and cheery disposition is the real you and that you care about others. You have the unique ability to make complete strangers that you'll never meet feel like an old friend and I hope you understand how much your existence has benefited and brightened the lives of countless people. Aww. Anyway, I apologise for the craptacular licence plates. It originally stated our angel, but after a few stickers and some whiteout, it became the mess you see now. <laughs> May the force be with you, Julian. So, this is first in flight, Charlotte. And then this one. <laughs> Here's my angel. It'll do. Yeah. That's not too bad though. <laughs> These are cool. I wonder if it's a famous flying place then. And P.S. In case you haven't looked in the package yet, which I haven't, don't worry, it's not just a box of Crown Royal Regal Apple. I stuffed it full of moon pies and candy corn. Try not to eat it all at once. Oh, that's cool. I always put these um these cards on my mantelpiece. Cry Crown Royal Regal Apple. Flavoured whiskey. Oh, it's not flavoured whiskey. things out and move this box. It's always a pain trying to do this quietly. the Charlotte Hornets. Oh, this is cool. Is this gel? Oh, it is. It's gel and it moves. I guess this is like a cooler cup. Funny story about the Charlotte Hornets. My mum, when we were younger, when I was, well, yeah, when we were both younger, but when I was young, um, my mum decided to buy myself and her a t-shirt of the Charlotte Hornets in the sports shop because it said Charlotte. Oh, that brings back so many memories, that. I had a t-shirt like that when I was younger. Yes, and they're a basketball team. So now I can say I support the Charlotte Hornets basketball team and the Lehigh Iron Pigs baseball team. 
and I can drink out of my basketball cup with my baseball hat on. Oh, that's cool. This is going to be awesome for my, um, my mojitos. Actually, I've been drinking something recently. I've been trying to drink a lot more water because water is really boring. I've been adding mint leaves in. Um, I... Oh, words. Words. I like lime juice. So what I do is I juice loads of limes together, then freeze them in um, an ice cube tray and use those ice cubes. But I've been doing the same with raspberries as well because I sieve out the raspberry pips. So I put an ice cube of fresh raspberry in, an ice cube of lime in, and some mint leaves. And this is going to be awesome. And it looks so cool. This is all gel. It looks like, like crystals or something. Go Charlotte Hornets. opened these up I thought they were something I've had from Aldi which were awful. Imagine if a cheesy what's it. I'm trying to think if America has anything similar but I can't think of the name. It's like a maize snack. A cheesy what's it and peanut butter had a baby. They were peanut butter. Like what's it so weren't cheesy with peanut butter. They were awful. And this packet looked so much like it, but it's not. These are Tom's Hot Fries, artificially flavoured. I love tomato flavour crisps. reaction. They're hot. To be honest, they're the first tomato crisp I've ever tasted, like I've ever eaten, that tastes like tomato. It tastes like, um, like a pasta sauce, tomato flavour. Oh, there's the heat, very mild. It's not like, um horseradish crisp I ate. tomato pasta flavour. They're a bit hot. I'll give them that.
to literally stick into everything. They're nice. I can imagine if you um if you eat a lot, they get really spicy. Bigger bag, new look. Well, tonight I'm going to work, um, so I'm going to take these with me. see something else savoury. What's this? potato chips they're they're only two dollars next door being so loud can you hear them guaranteed fresh until printed date they're still fresh don't worry reach for munchos crisps when you want a light tasting snack packed with full potato flavour and a crispy crunch. I'm trying to think what they look like over here. There is a crisp, but it's not like a, a particularly popular one. Just normally. Oh my god. It's not over here. When I go on holiday, there's a crisp like this on holiday, like in Spain. Mm. They remind me of going on holiday. Oh my goodness. You know when a smell and a taste brings back memories. like being on holiday again as a kid. Oh my god, they're so nice. They're like... You can almost see through them. Very light. just sit here and imagine myself being back on holiday. The best. Mm. I don't want to eat too many. Fill myself up. Oh my god. These are like, these are a, a trip down memory lane crisp. I don't know what name it is, but there's a crisp. I used to have a lot when I was a kid, maybe even as an adult. I go on holiday and I get those crisps. They are those crisps. <gasps> Memories, like the corners of my this is what I've just seen. Instant grits. What the hell are grits? Instant grits. Red eye gravy and country ham. 
Is it normal to have ham in? Grits. What the hell are grits? Oh my god. I have no idea what they are. Empty the packet into a bowl. Add half a cup of boiling water. Stir. Um. Oh. Is that hot water instructions? I don't know what they're ready. Microwave instructions. Empty packet into a um, two cup. Empty packet into two cup microwave bowl. I guess that's the size of a cup. Add half a cup of water or milk and stir. Microwave on high for one minute to one minute fifteen seconds. What do you do with them? Instant grits. You're gonna have to tell me how I have to eat these. I have no idea. I'm assuming the fact it's got ham in, it's savoury. What would I eat this with? What do I, what do I do with it? Is it like a mashed potato and have it with something? Grits and gravy? video is going to have to be um, either split into like two totally separate videos or I don't know. I was reading something the other day about the perfect length for an ASMR video. I think someone said the perfect length was 25 to 30 minutes which I kind of agree with. So yeah depending on how long this gets. I might split it. What's these? Oh, there's so much. Right. Let's just get two things out. Gluten and fat free colours from natural sources. Let's have a taste then, let's have a taste. Smell nice. Oh, they smell lovely. Oh! boyfriend just joined me there so he's just sat over there I've told him to breathe quietly so these I don't know what flavour they are um see organic tapioca syrup cane sugar jelly and, um okay no colours flavours organic kind of now Oh my god, I can't even pronounce that word. Anyway, they're freaking nice. They're like, um... Maybe... I want to say aniseedy, but that's the wrong word. They're delish. Taste them. Yeah. 
hop on it, gummy worms. You're gonna eat it. <laughs> it's been super quiet. What do you think? Nice. I've got some up. Mm. With these things, I'm trying not to eat too many because I'll never get through the whole box. I'm trying to think what the best way to do this because I'm never going to get through this box and with it being a video it's kind of different from a live stream um, so I'm going to open oh, what time is it now? I'm trying to think how long this video is I'm going to open two more things then I'm going to tr like try and record it either tonight when I get back from work or maybe tomorrow um, do like another recording um, and maybe have like a, you know, two and three parts. So, what is in there? Oh, I see some Oreos. I'm going to open what I've got here. What have I got here? Oh, and I'm going to open that. So, the first thing I've got is some... Um, Godiva chocolate here, assorted dessert truffles, um, chocolate lava cake truffle, strawberry cheesecake truffle, and creme brulee. These sound amazing. And I don't think I've ever had Godiva chocolates, but I know Godiva chocolates are like ridiculously good. I've heard um, people on her vlogs talk about them before. I think I'm going to try. Maybe the strawberry cheesecake because the chocolate lava um, looks like a bit of a dark one. So I'm going to see if I can fish out the strawberry one. I'm trying to see if it's a label, the different colours. the strawberry one, strawberry cheesecake, it says milk chocolate, and inside it's got like um I guess what it's a cheesecakey bit with um, the creamy base and the strawberry. I was originally going to say the chocolate's nothing special, but oh my god, this is amazing! It's so. It's so smooth. Um, mm. When I eat chocolate, if it's um, if it's too sharp or if it's too strong, I don't like it. But I don't know if the strawberries really complemented it. Well, that is so nice. Mmm. They're delicious. Very rich though. These are the type of chocolates that um, I'd only be able to have like one or two. I mean, it'd be enough. It would satisfy me. 
and I'd say save it for a special occasion but I can wolf down a box of um, Ferrero Rocher like there's no tomorrow then So the last thing I'm going to open in this video is something that I can't even read. Well, I can because it's got um, English here. It's mango gummy candy. I love mango. It's been a long time since I've done it, but quite often I'll buy an entire mango, hedgehog it like that, and just sit with a fork and eat the entire thing. It's so sweet and delicious. So it says mangoes, healthy fruit, commonly eaten for centuries, and now available in the form of delicious gummy candy. Enjoy the taste of kasu kasugai mango gummy candy, which retain the aroma and flavour of fresh mangoes. Oh, they sound amazing. Oh. The problem with having delicious food from abroad is that if I fall in love with it, I can't really get my hands on it very easy. Like a goldfish. I love cheesy goldfish. I've been sent original ones actually and I just didn't like them. But the cheesy ones are amazing. Let's open this up. Oh, I was thinking I can't smell any. any oh, I can. Oh, wow. They're individually wrapped. smell something. Wow! Oh, I've only you had smell a vision. It's um, it's super soft. Like really, really soft and squidgy. And it smells like um, if you've ever had those corn yogurts, are they just called or muller corners? There was a one with mango in. It smells exactly like that. A bit bouncier than I'd anticipated. Like they're not as not as soft, they're quite firm. these, they actually smell better than they taste, which I didn't expect. They smell like that fresh mango, but when you taste them, you can taste a bit of like, um, almost like an artificial flavour, you know, when you try and preserve them. Um, so this has got like glucose, syrup in, um, sugar, sorbitol, so I can kind of taste some of that. They smell amazing though, um, but they're nice. Product of Japan? Oh, well of course they are. It's a bit stupid. I should have recognised that. Right guys, I am going to record the rest of this, possibly tonight if I'm still awake when I get home from work. Um, I'm going to see how many videos I can do. I'm not going to upload them all together, I'm going to do like one one every other week, something like that, and I'm going to keep them in this format, keep it super relaxing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to of course do one of me making and tasting these because I have no idea what these are. Thank you for joining me. Huge thank you to Julian for sending me this super box, but I'm going to be saying that in every single video of this in the future. Um, I'm going to go and have a drink out of my super cool mug and I will see you all next time when I taste what else is in the box.